Hello there, my name is Sebastian Straub and I'm the Principal Solutions Architect at N2WS. In this video, we'll talk about a feature of N2WS version 3.2.0, the Volume Usage Monitor. This isn't a feature that is directly related to backup and recovery. However, it makes a lot of sense to monitor your volume usage. Who better to do that than your backup solution of choice, N2WS Backup and Recovery. We're already backing up volumes, why not also report further on it? First, I'll show you how to turn it on in settings, and then we'll talk about how we can review the information as well. All right, we'll find the server settings up here in the right corner with the cog symbol. Then under general settings, there it is, volume usage percent. I select that. The first decision that we have to make is at which threshold do we want to be alerted and do we want to have an alert sent to us? If we choose to do this, then we're actually going to use the uh, notification settings within Amazon SNS to alert on that. The first thing that you want to make sure is that this is turned on enable volume usage alert. So whenever the thresholds that we're gonna set in a moment are reached, then you will receive an alert on that. This setting here, alert recurring volume, you probably want to keep that turned off because otherwise you're gonna get bombarded with a lot of alerts because every single time we're gonna back up a volume, we're going to run a check on this usage threshold and then trigger alerts based on that. So if you only want to be alerted on it once, usually that's what you want. And based on either the low or the high threshold, you probably want to keep that turned off. Then a little bit further down here, I can choose, well, what do I find concerning? If uh, the usage threshold has reached 80%, then I would like to see receive an alert. And if I have a low usage uh, threshold of 5%, then I want to receive an alert as well. Of course, you can play around with these numbers, what fits best for you and uh, we'll talk in a moment about how to read this information. So in my case, I'm choosing anything above 80% and below five, I probably wanna take a look at this. Don't forget, whenever you make changes at the bottom here, there's the save button to make sure that you're actually gonna uh, save those settings then. The volume usage isn't going to get populated instantaneously. We have to wait for the next backup to occur, and then you're gonna see this volume usage percent fill up and populate information. As you can see in my case, I've already run a backup, so that's the information that we got back. Uh, on the dashboard, I can see with a single glance, so I have uh, some volumes below 5%, uh, I have some volumes that are right there in the middle, and then I also have some volumes that are above 80%. Let's take a closer look at which volumes we're talking about. You'll find this here on the left side of the screen at the bottom of the features, volume usage. And here we go. So here I have my high usage volumes, that's on the left side of the screen, and on the right side of the screen, I have my low usage volumes. So if I have some volumes that are higher used than the default setting, that's what I alerted on was 80%, then they're gonna show up here. And you probably want to do this, let's say for database servers. When you see the volumes of database servers uh, filling up, you don't wanna run into some issues, most likely on the weekend, because that's usually when issues occur. So here I can actually monitor this and through the alerting, I will receive an email alert on that as well. Conversely, on the right side of the screen, the low usage volumes, well, as you can see, I actually have three volumes that are completely empty. Well, that's probably also something I want to take a look at because why would I wanna have volumes and pay cost for the storage of these volumes if nothing is in these volumes? You can also start filtering this information by accounts and users who own these resources as far as the backups are concerned. Of course, you can also change how many records are we showing. Well, my environment is quite small, so I don't even have to make changes for that. 
Another nice thing is I can also overwrite the settings straight from within this monitor. So if I say, well, the default setting here in this case is 20% threshold. What if I want to see data more than 20%? So let's say we're going to up this to 50%. I choose to make this 50 and then I'm going to hit the enter key and then it's going to refresh that data and then I'm going to see the other volumes that are going to show up for that as well. With a single glance, I can see which region those volumes resort in. Um, last checked and the instance ID of where those volumes are attached. Some of the volumes aren't attached to an instance. I can see this here as well. And then of course also the volume ID as well. That's pretty useful because now I can actually go into my AWS console and verify those volumes as well. So as you can see, super easy to use feature, but extremely powerful because A, it can help me save money and B, it can also help me not run into issues if I have volumes that are overutilized. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you're gonna join me in the next video as well. Have a great day.